Hey kids! Alright, so time to make an instrument. Um, you've probably got some of these that you've been using with your family. Okay, this is the inside of a toilet paper roll. Okay, this is called the core. And it's about four inches long and a couple inches across. And usually when we're done, we just throw them away. But uh, we're going to make an instrument out of these today that's totally clean and easy to do. Okay? All you need is one of these. You need scissors and some paper. Okay, just regular paper or construction paper, your choice. You're going to need some big tape. Okay, if you have strapping tape or packing tape or mailing tape, that's the kind of tape you want. You don't want scotch tape. It won't stick enough. And you're going to need some fill. Now, what we put inside this determines what it's going to sound like. Inside, I have some rice. I have this one that I built a few minutes ago. It looks really weird. It's like all taped up and gnarly looking, but when I hold it and shake it, that's a totally normal instrument right there. Okay, so this is my shaker with rice. I also have some dried macaroni. Now you can ask your parents for you know what might work: rice, macaroni, uh, dried beans dried peas, uh, split peas, other grains, okay, if you've got like barley or um, I don't know what you might have in your house, but uh, talk to your parents about what you might be able to use for fill, and uh, I'm going to use the macaroni for this next one that I'll make with you, okay? So, <clears throat> you take your paper tube, your core, and the first thing you need to do is to cut a piece of paper that's a little bit wider than the core itself. Okay, so here's my core. I'm going to want to cut it about here, I think, just so that I have uh, enough to go over the side of the core so I can cover it. Because <clears throat> I don't want this fill getting out. The thing that makes it so fun to listen to is also the thing that makes it so messy to clean up. So you want to make sure that you stick it in there and that it really stays. Now from here, uh, I don't need to cut this down the half, the, you know, the midway point, because that's going to give me too much paper. But I'll bet if I cut it in thirds, that's going to be just fine. And again, you can ask your parents to help you cut the paper. So I'm going to take this part right here. Okay, this, it's almost a square. It's a rectangle, but it's almost a square. And when I lay it across like that, it covers a little bit more than, uh, than the circle, the circumference of the core. So I'll take this and I'm going to tape across both ways. So I'll take some tape here that's a little longer than the paper. Tape right down the side here. And then I have this weird arch. Can you kind of see that? Okay, there's a gap. You can see the gap. I don't want there to be a gap, so I'm going to make a little cut on both sides just to kind of help the paper fold. And don't worry about the cut because we're going to tape over that so none of our fill gets out. And with macaroni, those are bigger pieces, so I'm not too worried about it. And it's okay if this instrument doesn't look, you know, like a perfectly made <coughs> factory produced instrument, because it's not. It's a homemade instrument with paper and cardboard. So uh, that's okay. It's okay if it looks homemade. Sometimes homemade is the best stuff. And I'm gonna take a third piece just to be safe. And I'm gonna go around the outside of the tube. Okay. Now I could probably save this part until last. I had a little miss, missing spot there. Um, because after I do this side, now I gotta do that side. Okay, this is where I'm going to put my fill inside. Really handy to have a spoon. Okay, a teaspoon works great because when you try to pour, if you try to pour it like this, it's going to run all over the place and now you're cleaning up instead of making stuff. So just kind of spoon in a little bit. Okay, maybe give it a test shake. That's pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more in. Maybe one more spoonful. Okay, 
like I said, I did this with rice the first time. I haven't done a macaroni yet, so this is an interesting experiment for me too. All right, so again, I take a square of my paper, lay it over the top, and I'm gonna tape it down. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little crud in my throat today. There's my gap, so I wanna make sure and take care of that. So a little cut, and a little cut, just to kind of help the paper bend a little more, not be so difficult to work with. And I'm going to tape this across again. And then I'm going to take a third piece and really seal it. I really want to make sure this isn't going to go anywhere or that the fill doesn't like totally come apart. Now the result of all this is <clears throat> my, my paper instrument is covered in tape now, so it's virtually waterproof. I mean, it's completely sealed now. So what does that do for my instrument? This is my macaroni tube. This is my rice tube. The different fill provides a different sound, okay? A little bit lower here, a little bit higher here, okay? So I just put two teaspoons of rice in this one and two teaspoons of macaroni in this one. Uh, and I got a perfectly decent shaker instrument. So enjoy your homemade toilet paper core rice shakers, macaroni shakers, bean shakers, whatever you decide to put in them. Uh, if you like, you can make a video playing your homemade instrument and send it back to me. Uh, otherwise, I hope you and your family have fun and figure out new and creative ways to be musical. Thanks. Take care.